How's it going YouTube? Got four star TCG here and today I have another PSA return video for you. Uh, so this is a economy submission. This was um, the first economy submission I did. I will link the submission video uh, up in the corner if you if in the, up in the i cards if you want to see my great predictions, but I'll, I'll, I'll discuss them a little bit in this video as well. Um, so I was really excited to finally, you know, really start getting back to grading. Uh, now that prices were down to about fifty dollars per card with the uh, with these economy tier submissions, uh, it, it made a lot of things uh, much more viable in terms of grading. So I was able to submit, uh, I think I did uh, 10 cards at the economy tier. I might do a couple of, I might do a couple, maybe another submission or two uh, at the economy tier uh, with some cards that I just got in. Um, but I am really excited to show off these cards, these five cards. Uh, I sent these off, I want to say, towards the end of January, uh, <clears throat> and it took about a month uh, for them to be graded, which is fantastic for, for PSA these days, uh, especially when I've been waiting for 14 months, uh, actually no, 16 months, Sorry, uh, 16 months on a bulk submission. I think a lot of people are in the same boat for those submissions. Um, but you're paying them 50 bucks a card. Uh, they better, they better do you right. So, without any further ado, let's crack into these five graded cards. I do already know the grades, and let me tell you, these are amazing. Uh, so I did mention in the last uh, PSA return video that we got some great grades coming back from the uh, Split Earth set that I bought last year. And check that out, this Kabu Tops from Split Earth, a Gem Mint 10. Just a beautiful, beautiful crystal card. Check out the hollow pattern on Kabu Tops. Check out the hollow pattern on this entire card. So I shine it in the light. This is just next level artwork. The Japanese do these crystals so fantastically well. Um, yeah, and I was I was really happy to get this grade. I thought it might get a nine, just because there is the tiniest, tiniest little ding in the top left where I have my finger right there. Um, but beyond that, as you can see, this card is really, really clean. Um, so a PSA 10 is certainly, I've seen much worse 10s uh, than this uh, than this Kabu top. So I was very happy that it did get that uh, Gem Mint 10 grade. I was just thinking, okay, if it comes back a nine, I know why it's that little tiny little corner ding. Uh, but we were lucky enough to score the Gem Mint 10 grade on this card. And this continues the streak. Uh, as I, I don't think I, uh, as I showed off my last video, I got the Umbreon Hollow from Split Earth in a 10. I previously got the uh, Crystal ho -Oh in a 10. Now we got the Kaboo Tops in a 10. And finally, last but not least, the final crystal from, uh, from Split Earth. And it's another Gem Mint 10. It's this beautiful Golem. Check out that amazing Mitsuhiro Rita art there. These old cards, there's just really nothing like them uh, in terms of artwork these days. Uh, the artwork has been really amazing on the modern sets, but there's just something about the old card style, the old artwork, the sparkle that is just so incredible, and you really just can't beat it with the new cards. Uh, new cards are amazing in their own right, but wow. These old crystal cards, just so amazing. And uh, this one, as I, uh, I think I mentioned in the submission video, I could not find anything wrong with it. Extremely clean, very deserving of that Gem Mint 10 grade. And I think I did pre-grade this card a Gem Mint 10 as well. So really, really excited for this. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So really, really happy to get those two cards graded. And now we're getting into some uh, other part, other uh, other of my favorite cards, and that is 
gold star cards. Check that out. Gem Mint 10 on the Gyarados Gold Star from Holon Phantoms. This is incredible. Uh, there really are not a lot of unlimited uh, Gyarados Gold Stars in PSA 10 in Japanese. Uh, so this is really exciting. I love uh, Gyarados Gold Star. Uh, I had an English copy, I had a Japanese copy, but they were never a uh, really good condition. I think I ended up selling them. Um, but, uh, this one came in af after many years of watching the price go up, I was just like, all right, I'm going to bite the bullet. Um, I am eventually going after all the Japanese gold stars, but not in any specific grade. Um, so, you know, whatever relatively good condition, I'll try to pick them up, you know, maybe seven and higher, um, I'd be happy with on, uh, on gold star cards. Uh, but yeah, so this Gyarados is fantastic and really, really excited to get it in in the PSA 10 grade. The only thing is that I did not think this would card would grade a PSA 10, and I do uh, disagree a little bit with the uh, Gem Mint 10 assessment on this card, and I'll show you why. Um, so we can kind of see there is a little bit of a ding in the corner. I'm shining the light like right next to it there. It's a little challenging to see. Maybe if I move the card a little bit. Uh, you can see that there's a little ding in that corner around that edge right next to where my thumb is. Um, and there's also, move the card, uh, show you a tiny bit of some of the edge wear on the bottom of this card. Uh, you can just see it there. I'm shining the light on it a little bit. Uh, it is a little challenging to see, but there is edge wear on this card. Um, not so much that I, I think that the PSA 10 is a, an abhorrent misgrade or something. Um, I do, you know, if, if I were to buy this card and it came in a 10, I wouldn't blow up uh, about it. But it it is something that, you know, when I looked at this card, I was thinking 8 to 9, and it came back at 10. Um, pretty interesting, I would say. And, you know, the centering's off a little bit on this card. Uh, but you know, this, this is what happens with PSA. Sometimes you send cards, they grade higher than your expectations. Sometimes you send cards, they grade lower than your expectations. It's just sort of the world of professional grading. Um, and having myself graded for many, many years, I am, I'm fairly used to this happening. Um, uh, so pretty interesting to see that, but it's also, you know, everyone says, uh, you know, PSA grades harsher now. You can't get any more tens. Like, I don't know, man, like there's iffy grades. There was iffy grades in 2014. There's iffy grades in 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Um, there's always gonna be some cards where you're like, ah, I don't really know. Um, oops, I'm uh, shaking the camera a little bit. There's always some cards where you're gonna be like, ah, you know, I don't really know uh, if, uh, if this card is worthy of the grade. Um, and that's why you always got to double check the cards that you're buying and uh, make sure that they both, uh, that they take into account the grade and the condition of the card when you're determining whether or not you want to purchase. All right, next up, <sighs> take a look at that. Uh, Kai Yoger from Holon Research Tower, Gold Star Gem Mint 10. Uh, again, another incredible card. A beautiful, beautiful gold star. Another awesome unlimited card where there is not a lot in the population. Uh, so really, really excited to get this card in. Really cracking on with the Japanese gold stars. If you saw my previous PSA uh, PSA return, got some great stuff back there. And yeah, just continuing on in this return. So beautiful. Uh, and those of you who are avid watchers of the channel will remember uh, this was one of the best deals that I scored this summer. Uh, for some absurd reason, I bought this. Uh, I bought this card for sixty dollars. Uh, I don't usually disclose, you know, what I paid for cards and stuff, um, but I figured with this, it was just a great way to sort of show that there is there is stuff out there, you know. This is like sixty bucks for this card is like a two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen price. Um, and there we go, graded a PSA 10. Uh, so there's still some great deals out there. I think there was some very minor edge wear on this card. You probably can't even see it uh, in the PSA case. Um, 
maybe a little bit at the top there. Pretty challenging to see, uh, but I thought this card was sort of on the edge. I, I, I pessimistically pre-graded at a PSA 9, um, but for a PSA 10, again, if I got this card in a PSA 10, I would uh, not be disappointed at all. Um, very solid and respectable grade on this card. All right, and last but not least, we have Charizard from the Stormfront set, Unlimited Edition, scoring the PSA 9 grade, so the only grade lower than a 10 in this submission. Uh, pretty amazing. Uh, we got four 10s and a 9. That's a win submission if I've ever seen one. Uh, I'm not really sure what caused this card to grade a 9, as, again, as you can see on the back, it is really, really clean. Um, I didn't see any edge wear on this card. Uh, when I was submitting it, I pre-graded it a PSA 10. Um, I suppose the centering is slightly off left to right, if you can see that. Um, but I wouldn't say it's off any more than the Gyarados, which scored a 10. So it's, you know, it's, like I said, it's always a little confusing uh, at some points when you get back professional grades. Um, even after, you know, how long have I been grading? Seven years uh, with PSA, pretty much exclusively with PSA, um, submitting many, 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 many cards. Uh, yeah, there's still, you know, grades that, that are lower than what I expect. There's still grades that are higher than I expect, even in a five card submission. Uh, but on the, on the, on the bulk, on the sum of everything, everything does seem to end up grading largely within what I expect, you know, plus or minus one grade. Um, you know, a card grading a 9 when you expect a 10, a card grading a 10 when you expect a 9, those, those are really not significant differences. I, I think a lot of people don't realize that. Um, you know, they assume that there's one correct grade for a card, and, and professional grading is really subjective. Um, I think people need to, to understand that a lot more, especially when they're making purchasing decisions and grading decisions. So there we go, another five cards back from PSA, and boy, these were amazing things. Um, yeah, so this submission, truly, truly fantastic. We scored two Gem Mint 10 Crystals, two Gem Mint 10 Gold Stars, and a Chorizord for good measure. All right, so thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stick around for more videos.